All right, guys, tons of information. I'm still catching up. Uh, the new SP heroes coming to Eternal Evolution. Before I go over here, over her, and you click off, I want to tell you something that no one else is telling you. And that is based off conversations and wording that has been used in conversations. Nothing that has been asked to be kept quiet. Uh, it sounds like uh, you were, it's going to be the same banner, same uh, at Triple S Heroes is what it sounds like. Everything's going to be the same, but much like the wish list where you could click the picture and then change which one you want to uh, have as your targeted character uh, is kind of how this SP system will work. So right now it's just Caraxia because she's the only one there. Once uh, Artemis uh, comes in, you should be able to click it and then pick either Caraxia or Artemis. Now let's talk about Artemis, the Echo of Death. Our new hero can detonate a lightning charge, inflict damage on all enemies around her and knock them back. Uh, this is going to be interesting because the commander, uh, the hunter commander does knock back and I'm unsure if it's going to push them back and then push them back again or if you're only going to get one. Uh, then she enters the apocalypse state. Basic attack simultaneously attacks several targets, uh, very similar to uh, Mori Army, and uh, Razeris hits two, but same kind of idea. Shoots a line of multiple bolts at each target. That it's like AOE lines, uh, very similar to the new Hunter that does the three lines. This sounds like it's going to be more. Uh, shoot a line each target dealing damage and activating basic attack i mean hunter uh artemis can gain phantom bolts at intervals uh we'll need to see if this is uh, attack speed based or time based uh and she can automatically fire one phantom bolt at enemy targets before they activate charge and or after they activate teleportation so charge is as we saw from the new energy hero uh charge is vanguards charge is nordtheon uh charge is uh teresh throw but teleportation is primarily assassins so you're able to defend the uh your guys from the assassins dealing damage canceling the effect of char of charge and stunning the target Hopefully this means also canceling the effect of charge and or teleportation. But it just says charge. So if it also cancels the effect of the teleportation, it'll be interesting to see what it does with Dominic if uh, it just straight up cancels the, um, what you call it, uh, mark or not. Studying the target before taking damage. Artemis will consume Phantom Bolt and restore energy. Yes, what else? High frequency attack, true damage, probably when she's in the apocalypse state. Uh, movement restrain, ricochet attacks, multiple targets, simultaneous attacks, enemy max HP reduction. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to be when she does the bolts, hit certain targets, or when she hits with a Phantom Bolt, maybe she reduces max HP. But uh, this whole max HP thing and the uh, automatic passive trigger on the Phantom Bolt makes uh, Artemis sound better than Caraxia at low counters. We'll have to see how the numbers and how the abilities actually work. But let me know what you guys think down below. Put the word Artemis, her name, to be entered into this giveaway. Till next time, guys.